Hello everyone, welcome back. This is chapter 4, part 7. In this part, we'll learn about F statistic and its meaning. So in your Excel output, you will see F statistic right here under F, capital F. And then you're going to see significance F. This is this level of statistical significance of this F statistic. Let's learn what it means. F statistics is used to test for significance of the overall regression equation. So it measures the quality of the overall regression equation. We compare F statistic to F critical value from the F table, right? So you need to look at two degrees of freedoms. Okay, N minus K. N is the number of observations minus K is the number of parameters to be estimated. And also K minus one. Okay. So you specify the significance level you're interested in, 1, 5, or 10% level of significance. So if F statistic exceeds the F critical value, the regression equation overall is statistically significant at the specified level of significance. An easier, there's an easier way to find it. Right here, significance F gives you exact level of significance, right? So it says basically, it's statistically significant at 0 0.01, in other words, 1% level. So this is an easy way to utilize the Excel output to see this level of significance. So based on this Excel output, you can say that overall regression equation is statistically significant at 1% level. So for simplicity, I pulled up online an F table, right? So what you see is denominator degrees of freedom and numerator degrees of freedom. So what are we looking at? This is a 5% significance level F test. So I'm going to go back to the example we had, right? F statistic is 16.3, right? And now we are going to carry this to this page, F stat 16.3. Okay, degrees of freedom n minus k, 7 observations minus 2, that's going to be 5, and k minus 1, that's the numerator, 2 minus 1, 1. So you have 2 degrees of freedom to worry about, and let's just pick 5% level of significance from the table I pulled up online. Okay, so it's the 5% level. Alright, so numerator degrees of freedom was 1 right? 2 minus 1. Five, 7 minus 2 was 5. So T critical value is 6.6 .6 at 5% level. This because the F statistic exceeds 6.6 .6 F critical value, right? It's greater than that. We're going to reject the null hypothesis that the F value is 0. So what we can see is that Overall regression equation is statistically significant. So this is 5% and 1 and you also have 10% levels. So with this you can either use a t-table but simply you can just look at the significance of the f-statistic. And I'll see you in part 8.